Hi. Today we will see a new and very useful topic in the Pine script. If you have tried your hand on the Pine script, you must have come across a very useful function called security function. A security function is used when you want to get data from different time frames or when you want to get the data from different stocks. But there is a problem. A security function cannot be used within a local scope. A local scope means inside an if else statement, inside a for loop, or inside a function. Let's see this problem practically, and then try to see the solution. Here, I have created an indicator called dynamic requests. Here, we have a variable called value. If the candle's close is greater than or equal to its open value, that means it's a green candle, then we call the security function. Here, the first argument is the name of the current stock whose chart we have opened. The second argument is the time frame whose data we want to collect. Since I want the data of the current time frame, I have just written two inverted commas here. The third argument is the data that I want. If the candle is green, I want the high value of that candle inside the value variable. Similarly, if the candle is not green, that means it is a red candle, then we call the security function again, and this time we get the low value of the candle inside the value variable. And finally, we plot the value variable. But, as soon as I save this code, I get an error. It says, cannot use request call within loops or conditional structures. This is the problem I was talking about. We cannot use the security function inside an if-else statement, or a for loop. So what's the solution? PineScript has introduced a new attribute in this indicator function, which will solve this issue. If you hover the mouse over the indicator function, you can see this new attribute called dynamic requests. Let's see what it says further, I will open the documentation. It says the dynamic requests attribute specifies whether the script can dynamically call the functions from the namespace request. Dynamic request calls are allowed within the local scopes of conditional structures, for example, if, and, loops like for loops. So in short, using this dynamic requests attribute, we can now call the security function inside local scopes. Let's see how. We simply have to write dynamic requests equal to true in the indicator function. And that's it. Now we don't get that error that we were getting earlier. Let's add this indicator to the chart and see if it is working or not. There you go. When the candle is green, it connects the high value of the candle. And, when the candle is red, it connects the low value of the candle. So the indicator works as expected, and, we have managed to use the security function inside a local scope thanks to the dynamic requests attribute. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.